up everybody that is watching. Um, my name is Anthony Rouse. I know Freak 78. I'm joined here by my wife at my side. Um, so we're going to discuss what happened at that council meeting today. Um, the video is probably going to be choppy. Not very good internet here. And I have my tablet connected so that way if anybody wants to say anything in the chat, um, we'll be here for about five, ten minutes. So if anything wants to be asked, said. Um, I'm currently keeping on chat so I can answer it. Um, but uh, with that said, so uh, as everybody, well not everybody knows, uh, on Discord has announced that uh, of course only everybody on YouTube watching this that uh, only is not in the Discord. Um, it's been announced on Discord, Instagram, or on YouTube. Uh, a few weeks ago it was announced on YouTube that the Son of Anthony movie is going to happen. Um, and in the description it said what it would be based upon. Um, but uh, we was pushing to use an old abandoned high school for a brief setting in the movie, um, not very long, a few minutes, um, over a few different scenes spread apart um, in the town of Delbart, West Virginia. Um, and of course it is a, it's abandoned. It's uh, been closed down since 2011. Um, whenever the school closed to merge the high school with uh, a place called Mingo Central where Make One, uh, West Virginia, Lynch in West Virginia, Gilbert, West Virginia, and Del Barton was all merged into the same school. Um, but I was shooting to be able to use that. Um, and if not the inside, then the outside. Uh, after reviewing the original request I made to the town of Del Barton, um, and reviewing the photos, uh, it was made plausible that they would, no matter what, uh, deny that access. So at the meeting today, I reaffirmed my question and made it a question more of about uh, using the outside and the exterior of the building. Um, now they didn't have it on the agenda, I guess I responded too late, um, so they didn't have it on the agenda. But I did get to speak, I did get to make my case, um, and so far what they're wanting uh, for me is they want to make sure that uh, when we do this we're not defaming the town of Del Barton. Um, so uh, I've got to tie into this story, it's economic growth. Um, it's growth, uh, how it looks. Like the new stuff they're bringing in businesses. Uh, so Dale Barton is going to serve um, in the movie as a community um, instead of just a rundown, forgotten town um, to be able to uh, appease the council uh, to grant access to the outer side. Um, plus, they got to look in liability issue. Um, but they did tell me, as I suspected earlier, uh, wait a second. Uh, they told me, as I was expected earlier, that um, there will have to be liability uh, papers signed, of course, to keep the town of Del Barton. If any injuries happen on the property, it would keep them from liability. Which nothing should happen outside, it's outside. Um, but they have added it to the agenda for the 22nd. Now what I'm supposed to do is... Uh, give them the piece of the story of what's happening so they know what I plan to do and to make sure that the movie's not going to defame the town of Dale Barton, understandably. Um, so it's not off the table, but it's going to be a little bit harder road to get access. But the 22nd will be the answer whether it will happen or not. Um, hey, Mega Matt. Hey, Crockpot69. Um... I didn't notice there was that many people in this. Six. Um, anyway, uh, so while that went down to where I didn't get an answer today, um, I did get a very good sign of something today. Um, one of the senators of West Virginia, of the state of West Virginia, was at this uh, meeting. Um, at the end of it, before I left, uh, he walked up to me first, and he shook my hand, he uh, asked me for my name, my telephone number, and he handed me his business card and his cell phone number. I mean, I'm not going to show his personal cell phone number out. It's on the back. Um, but he gave me his cell phone, put me in contact with his phone, um, 
and he told me to reach out to him um, because there's filmmakers he knows and uh, and some other stuff uh, to connect me with um, and he's going to help in the uh, he's going to help in the fight for you know use of the building by what I assume um, not really a fight but uh, he's going to uh, try to help us uh, be able to do as we plan with it because as he and I and some others may see it it's a great opportunity to show off the history of Del Barton as this school has been around for a century um, and it is the most historical piece down in Del Barton, West Virginia right now um, so he's going to try to help with that um, so we're hoping to at least, like I said, get access to the outside of the building. Um, and that's where we're going to, uh, uh, me, my wife, and uh, Rebel Tea Time, uh, as he is, uh, as you can see, we have uh, two uh, things up here that represent the movie. The showrunner community presenting it and the Anthony WR Productions uh, group producing it. Um, Rebel Tea Time comes from Anthony WR Productions as the uh, lead location, uh, lead film location manager. Um, so he'll, me, him, uh, and my wife Alexis will sit down and uh, discuss on how to go about this. Um, you know, form a team plan instead of a me plan um, on how we're going to do this. But uh, we are. Uh, we're doing what we can to make this movie the best it can be and this is the first formal big news on YouTube uh, as most of it goes through Discord Discord the uh, servers still on lockdown don't know how long I will keep at that uh, for security reasons uh, but Instagram uh, the end of Freak 78 Instagram we have been releasing news of the movie um, uh, soon we'll be seeing it come from you know uh, like the showrunner community on Discord, it's public. Uh, we've been sharing news in it, uh, which of course, again, you know, as it's here, um, it presents, we we'll present the movie there. Um, and that's where Dan, Matt, Cade, Rowdy, and others come from. Um, and Jay Knight, uh, uh, Mega Matt's girlfriend. Um, got the, I'm not good with names. Um, but uh, uh, I'm losing track here. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I've been up since 7 a.m. Uh, preferably, we would like to come home and take a nap and spend time with my family. Uh, but of course, we had the council meeting today at 6. Um, so I had to go to that, and I was there until about 7 o'clock this evening. Um, when I got home, sat down with my wife for a little bit. Um, my wife and my son um, but uh, anyways I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter as we're running you know, well past 10 minutes I believe now I'm not sure again I've lost track of time um, but uh, I do want to assure everybody that we're doing everything behind the scenes as hard as we can uh, don't expect these you know, briefings very often they'll be far spread apart. Uh, the movie's currently on halt while I try to get another vehicle. Um, once I get another vehicle, it'll go back into resuming on production. Um, so we're, you know, currently on track of getting that to happen. Uh, for YouTube, YouTube people don't know who will be in the movie. Um, we're going to have me as lead role, my wife Alexis as, you know, my character's wife. Um, our son, who will be Dawson, um, me and my wife will play our own names, then we have Dylan as uh, James Ironton, um, I can't tell if there will be any more or not, I know some people are expecting surprise appearances, um, but uh, I do want to show uh, one thing in a few weeks during the briefing, something everybody's hoping will be in the movie, um, it's a prop. So if that will give you any indication, uh, there will be teasers soon of it. Uh, there is a few more teasers planned before that one, though. Um, 
But anyways, mostly today is just letting everybody know how hard we're trying behind the scenes, even though production isn't happening. I am very hard, just like now, talking to a senator for West Virginia to see what we, how far we can take this out. Um, there's a shirt, a merchandise shirt, uh, on its way to California, so we're going to be advertising this movie in California, soon hopefully advertising it in New York. Um, I'm getting this as far and wide as it can. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to cut things short here, everybody. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed the news brought today. Um, Again, my wife is here beside me. She's over, you know, on the other side of the room playing her game. Um, but for me and her both, uh, this is it for today. And I will see you guys soon with more news. Keep a tab on Instagram. And if you're in the Discord, keep a tab on Discord and my Twitter for even more play news. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is the end of the briefing.